2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And can you feel the energy in this arena after the starting lineup for just now? It's a playoff atmosphere. We'll be back with it in just a moment. Basketball's biggest stage, the NBA Finals. It begins here, and 2K Sports is happy to bring it to you. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the New Orleans Pelicans. Joining Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlan. And with us tonight, the always insightful Kenny the Jet Smith. Kenny, it is so great seeing you. Hey, Gregory Anthony. How are you today? <laughs> We're doing well, Kenneth. We are. But it's good to have another guard on, uh, oh, on our man. row here, isn't it? You know it, what? Huh? It, it just brings a whole new level of intellect to the broadcast. Thank you so much. Well, guards are the quarterbacks of basketball. Yeah, if you want an intellect, I'm the guy to bring down from up there. Yes. Spell intellect for us real quick just so we can get a taste of your... And now we're back off to the <laughs> Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We're off. Let's go to the game. D.A., it's all yours. Hey, Kevin. Well, another Kevin, Kevin Durant, is just as dedicated to his craft as you are at yours, but it's off the court where he says he's been on a search pushing my limits, the flow of life, the people I meet, the environment I want to live in. All that stuff fulfills me more than anything. And Kevin, the game of basketball opens so many doors for him to search. It does indeed. Thanks, David. Well, I've heard both you guys talk about the handle of Kyrie Irving. Kenny, did anyone in your era come close to being able to do what Kyrie can do with the dribble? Uh, yeah, I, I think there were several, you know, and, and with the hand check rule, if they didn't have it the way it is, Isaiah Thomas, Tim Hardaway. Was Iverson in that camp? Iverson, yeah. Kenny Anderson. Yeah. 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 Those right, guys right, would have right, had right. the freedom to dribble the way they wanted to dribble uh, because of lack of hand check, but Kyrie Irving is special. And, and the other thing that makes him special, his footwork is as good as anybody's ever played. Like that... People lose right. It ain't just your handle. It's the footwork. It's his combination that's what makes him so special. That's a great point. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Ingram the three and Zion the four. Lonzo Ball out there at Lutz. And it's Adams in at the five spot. And for Brooklyn, Harden out there with Irving. And it's Durant. Then there's Griffin. And it's Harris in at the three. Out to the right wing. The three, Lutzo. That's good. And it's Ingram with the assist. Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. To the inside. Here's Harden. Can't hit that one. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. Bledsoe dishes to Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. Unselfish play there by Bledsoe. Does a great job scanning, noticing somebody's open, get them the ball. Williamson kicks to Bledsoe. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And really, despite that miss, they had a solid start offensively. Such a wide open look. And maybe a deep breath moment for them. They're now one for four to start the game. Pass to Williamson. And the pass to Ingram. Six to shoot. Foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Kevin Durant. Well, when you make these kind of improvements in your game, you put in a lot of work in the offseason. Brandon Ingram growing up right in front of us. And the first one at the line is good. Throws good for Ingram. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Guys, the game nowadays more open, more freedom of movement. Kenny, do you like where the game seems to be headed? Yeah, as a fan, I like it. And yeah. if, if I was a player, I would like it. Um, because of my style of play, I can imagine a lot of players in 
my era wouldn't like it. But uh, a lot more fun to watch, a lot of flow to the game. The thing I like about it is you have to be more skilled in the game today. Because you can't just grab and hold and beat people up today. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm like saying? Your, like your Nick teams. Yeah, exactly. We would have <laughs> we struggled today. We would have struggled. And it's Williamson missing. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Oh, that's a golden opportunity to finish on the break, and he blows it. Completely lost focus. You can't get two steps ahead. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. KD finds Griffin. Here's Harris, rejected by Ingram. Well, Brandon Ingram is so long, and that's what we could say to the ball. So long. Duran against Williamson. Rebounded by the Nets. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the in one, and this time they're not backing off. Just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Now here's Adams. Ingram with it. And here is Harris. Side for Durant. Lots of room. And he gets it to go. KD's got it back down to within single digits for Brooklyn. Pass to Adams. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. And we heard about market size mattering less to players these days, guys. But then we see summers where all the big free agents are Los Angeles and New York. Uh, so, Kenny, which is it? Well, there's two aspects of it. There's endorsements and then there's quality of life. In the small markets, you know, catching fire on the marketing front is sometimes much more difficult, but there could be a better quality of life. In a big city, you could be marketed, and then all of a sudden you start losing, and it's the quality of life goes down. Yeah, and, and the reality is the fact that when we played, there was only a couple games a week on national television. Now every game that every NBA team plays is on national television. The impact of social media, they're, they're just, you can be a superstar in a small market. Doesn't matter. Look at Giannis. You look at Grant and OKC West. You can be as big a star in any market as it is. Here's Ingram following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Here's Williamson, and good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Williamson's got his second bucket of the night. Nets trail by 10. Pass to KD. And KD throws it down. Showing how unselfish he can be. Irving recognizing the importance of keeping his teammates involved. And Ball slams it in. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Jordan's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Kevin Durant. 
Brown is checked in for Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for James Harden. Dinwiddie, it's not going to go for him. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Hart, no good. And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. Trailing by 10. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You ask around more and more team trainers focused on the importance of sleep for peak performance. Is that something that you ever paid attention to, Kenny, when you were playing? Yes. I never played an NBA game. Maybe take a break. Very few take a break. without taking a nap. Two shots. Day on game day. But how about like a night's sleep? Would you say I got to get seven hours? I got to get eight I, I, hours. I would say I, I, my thing was I, I would set my timer for for 12:30 a.m. to make sure that I'm in bed by 12:30. So that would be my alarm clock, not to wake up, but yeah. to go to bed by that. Time. Greg? Yeah, I, I'm. I actually, I, my nap was more important than my night of sleep. Because also back then we travel like after games, a lot of times you didn't get to the next city to two, three in the morning, and you're still wired up. So like that nap, man, was vital. Vital. New Orleans leading by eight. Mr. Johnson. Green against Ingram. Oh, the jam by Ingram. And that's big time from B.I. The pass to Brown. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Ingram kicks to Johnson. Here's Alexander Walker, covered by Irving. Hands it from downtown. Ingram's got his third basket of the night. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Irving for three. Here's Jordan. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And, and already they've taken out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. The Nets shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And that one misses. Well, there is continuous energy in DeAndre Jordan's play, really hustling on both ends and influencing those plays with that activity. Now here's Johnson. No points in the game yet for him. Great D that time from Green. Nowadays, it seems, us dominant centers than in the uh, past decades of NBA basketball. Kenny, you played alongside uh, some of the great big men, including Hakeem Olajuwon. Do you think he'd be less or more effective in today's game? More effective. Uh, because his value would be easily shown. Because you, he would get more touches. There's more possessions in an NBA game now. He had ball handling skills. And he had the mid-range jump shot. So which means all he had to do was step backwards and take the threes. Uh, we used to play around and have shooting contests after practice. Uh, he would win some of those three-point shooting no contests, kidding. but never took him in the game. See, the difference is his skill set translates. Like, it wouldn't be as... I don't think some of our other great bigs would be as good. The guys who were purely post players, because the reason would be they got to guard the pick and roll now. Yeah. And, and, and this era... They don't bail you out, the bigs, by letting you just go right, and hang out right, in the paint. Right. You got to play outside that three-point line, 80, 90 possessions a game. Yeah, like a five-tool baseball player, James Johnson's one of those guys who does a little bit of everything for his team. And both free throws, good for Johnson. Nets trail by eight. Outside, Green. On the wing. No good. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. Here's Alexander Walker. Covered by Irving. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. For New Orleans, they have looked good at the line. But they're perfect in four attempts. <laughs> I 
free throw. No good. Herman Gomez is checked in for Ingram. good on the second the NBA definitely is a global product and at the same time Commissioner Silver reaffirming the league's American values of free speech this caught some people off guard perhaps it's not always easy is it well he's got the most difficult job and uh, you got to give the commission a lot of credit for staying true to who he is and what he feels the league is about and able to tell that story to the world and not just here nationally for international sacrifice money that was coming into the league for values that he thought were important bottom line freedom is not free well, whether things are good bad or indifferent coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game yeah not just there to pump up or to discipline players you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out Irving. He has seven. Pass to Dinwiddie. And no good. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. Here's Hart. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Six on the shot clock. Here's Johnson, Ron Gomez trying to break free. Johnson, good. And the Pelicans lead by 11. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. This is it to Irving. I mean, Gomez grabs the miss. New Orleans has gone three or four on three pointers in the first quarter, doing well from long range. Here's Hart, then Witty cover it. It's good. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. And the length of green is a real issue for the D. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls. The Nets shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Jeff Green. And the former Hoya Green, a, a ranging forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. Balls checked in for James Johnson. Free throws good from Green. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. They lead by 11. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Sometimes Lonzo's got to put the defense on their heels and start attacking with some aggression. And that play, he did so. New Orleans shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And he makes the first. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that'll allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. Durant's checked in for Kyrie Irving. Ball hits them both. And Lonzo Ball, we know, prefers to set up his teammates and also play stifling defense. What we'd love to see is more consistency in scoring the ball. Now, here's Dinwiddie. And again, it's the Nets missing. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. 
Nets trail by 13. Fades. Stolen by Ball. Three on three. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up for those. Ball against Dinwiddie. Pocket six. Pass to Alexander Walker. Ron Gomez trying to break free. And so it's New Orleans. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And recently, Kevin Durant discussed what they have to face night in and night out. I think we get a lot of teams' best shot in the first half, where they, you know, hitting on all cylinders, playing good brand of ball, moving fast, playing great defense. And I feel like we are at that level to start the game, and then, you know, it's about who can last at that level the longest. And, Greg, it's one of the great challenges of being one of the teams to beat. But that's the difference with a superstar like Durant. He can give you elite play from start to finish. Lesser guys can do that only in spurts. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And looking at what we've seen, Pelicans pretty much in control here. Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. That defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. On the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. We've got Herman Gomez. He's out there with Hart. Then it's Ball, and it's Alexander Walker in at the two. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Can your shot mechanics look polished even back in college? Some guys take longer to have that thing look smooth yeah. and, and right and, and make some sense optically. Well, it's repetition uh, more than the visual. So the more you, like I actually shot the ball and my left hand stays on too long. So I had a side spin. It didn't go, it have a natural revolution. So Marcus Smart comes to mind, Lonzo Ball, you know, but the repetition will help you. Yeah. You know, there are some guys that, you know, some of the great shooters don't have great. I mean, Ray Reggie. Allen, Kobe. Yeah. Kobe shot it with Larry a little Larry Bird's Larry Bird. form was different. But, you know, they perfected it. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Griffin's checked in for Jordan. Harris comes in for Green. And it's James Harden in for Brown. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Zion Williamson's checked in for Jackson Hayes. Nets trail by 18. Dinwiddie passes to Harden. Dishes it to Harris. KD on the wing. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Durant's got six. Powered by his underrated strength, Durant is able to make some signature contact finishes. And the dunk by Williamson. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. How good is that? I mean, he can make a defender look foolish at times. The drive by ball. And he finishes nicely on the layup. 12 points for him. Always been impressed with Lonzo Ball getting up to speed in just a couple of long strides, and that helps him get through contact. The shot's good from Griffin. And all the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. Now the pass to Williamson. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Now here's Durant. 
Six points for him. Shoots from the high post. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Kenny, of course, you were nicknamed the Jet for a reason. Who do you think is the fastest player right now going end-to-end -end in the league? With the ball, right now, De'Aaron. With the ball. Russell Westbrook is probably just... Ben Simmons isn't too far good. behind the either. But he, he's more speed and, and power. Yeah. But in talk about... I had, a, I, had a, I had a thing one time. And it was a... The, the, they scored. The team scored with 7 minutes and 17 seconds. I scored... It was seven minutes and 15 seconds. Two, two and seconds. So, but, and it was only on an outlet. Yeah. It wasn't a long pass. You got it in stride. In stride, and then two seconds later. Wow. Then. So, De'Aaron Fox could do that. That's, 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 that's fast. fast. Yeah. That's just yeah. what. <laughs> Thus, the name. And here is Ball. After the three-pointer from KD. Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. But they'll get another chance. The offensive rebound. And that one's good. Williamson. Williamson's got six points in the quarter. And it's Harden with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. 15-point game. Pass to KD. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. And give Durant credit. Fantastic at drawing contact on these plays. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. The first one falls. And it's clear how much Durant loves this game. He has a real drive to keep improving and an undeniable thirst to contend for championships. Durant nails both of them. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Adams dishes to Ingram. Some solid defense from Harris. Nets trail by 13. Fires top of the key. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Durant's got 13 points. You know, that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot. Oh, oh that was something else. Oh. Yeah, it looks like Zion's got the stage all to himself there. Just tearing down the rim. Count that bucket. He's got 15. Well, it feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Here's Ingram. And he banks in the layup. And the Pelicans lead by 13. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Here's Durant. Out to Harris. Outside, Griffin. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Yeah, they cut into a nice flow this quarter. Ball, the pass to Adams. He dishes it to Ingram. Pass it to Ball. Just five on the clock. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Yep, it goes in, and the Pelican lead is cut down to just eight points with the bucket from Dinwiddie. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. And, and coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. You've got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do.
Kyrie Irving's checked in for Brooklyn. And the Pelicans also making a change. James Johnson's checked in for Williamson. And the Pelicans with possession here. They led by as many as 18 points. Down low, ball. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Bledsoe's got his third assist on the night. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling that. KD, that's for two. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. And boy, has he come alive. Since the start of the second quarter, he has been on fire. Pass to Johnson. Now here's Bledsoe. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Bledsoe going to the inside has no problem at his size getting in and drawing contact. The Pelicans have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. The free throw drops for Eric Bledsoe. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Brooklyn making some changes. Jordan, he's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Bruce Brown in for Joe Harris. Bledsoe hits them both. Eric Bledsoe bounced around a little bit in the early part of his career under the tutelage of Chris Paul when he first came into the league. Seems like he's found a home here and very much settling into his role. Jordan kicks to Harden over Bledsoe. Harden no good. Pelicans leading by 10. And Bledsoe has it in the corner. Trains the three-pointer. Bledsoe's got five points now in the quarter. A good job on the pass there. Bledsoe with a quick and confident decision. A pass to Irving. Here's Jordan. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. Pass to Johnson. Ingram outside. Adams trying to free himself up. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got 13 points. Brandon Ingram showing some toughness that time. That's a strong finish. Irving passes to Harden. Pops it up for Jordan. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Passes it to Adams. And here's Bledsoe. And it's blocked by Jordan. Well, the arms of DeAndre Jordan are like a horizon line. They go on forever, which allows him to send those shots back. And that's trailed by 11. Inside, here's Brown. That shot, no good. Adams, some nice D. To the paint. They grab their own miss. Tough possession there. They stayed with it, but they just couldn't make it. From deep Harden. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got six rebounds now in the game. It wouldn't surprise me to... Oh, the power on that threw down. Goodness. Unreal. Well, known for his athleticism, Johnson can sneak up on you, and that time, that dunk looking second nature. To Harden. Ingram with the steal. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Bledsoe. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got his fifth assist in this one. Timeout, timeout. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going.
Here's Irving. He's got seven. Harden. And Harden with the stop. And you expect Harden to attack. But right there, puts the exclamation point on him. And there's the pass to Hayes. He kicks to Johnson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. He's gone two for two at the line so far. James Johnson taking two shots. First free throw is good. And he can't hit the second. That's trail by 14. Harden inside the three-point line. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Harden's got six in the quarter. And Kenny, great to have you on the show as always. You, you've got to come back soon. Promise us you'll come back soon. I'm coming back next week. Good. I not, <laughs> I, there's more food down here. It's friendly about here. There's more room, man. More I can't air. wait to be here. More, more air. air, everything, man. Everything's more down here. And what an experience it was, Greg, to have Kenny joining us. You always know he's going to give you his honest opinion, which makes him so great. Kevin, and throughout his playing days and now as a broadcaster, Kenny has never pulled any punches. He, he'll tell it to you like it is, and that's one reason he is so beloved. And Green launches it from deep. It's rebounded by New Orleans. They led by as many as 18 points. And this has been an outstanding display on the board, and it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. A shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Pass to Harden. Three-pointer. No good that time. And so it's New Orleans. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot. James, they played very well, but you guys really took them out of that. How did that happen? Yeah, you know, we talked about how how they're on a roll. So our second group wanted to come out, give the energy to the first group, and, and just do our game, play our game. No expectations, just go out and play hard. You really backed them up. Thanks a lot, James. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Well, for the Pelicans, they wanted to get out to a fast start in this championship series, and their solid play in the first half of Game 1 was a big step in the right direction. These two teams seem to still be feeling each other out, though. So it could be anybody's game. What did you think, Shaq, about New Orleans? Well, they were really in attack mode. The most telling stuff is how many times they got to the free throw line. They weren't all afraid to get their hand and get those elbows dirty. You know, I'm a specialist when it comes to the elbows, I mean. Kenny, what's your take on Brooklyn so far? Well, obviously, they didn't show up on the glass at all. They were getting outworked, out hustled, and outplayed. And their competition showed just the opposite. They wanted it more. You can't give up a ton of extra possessions in a game like this and expect to win. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. 
What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone with his aggression. Yeah, the rest of the team seemed to line right up behind him, matching that kind of intensity and looking for him to come through with some big plays. Welcome back. We hope you're enjoying your Memorial Day. 2K Sports, happy to have you with us. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So for Brooklyn now, Durant is out there with Joe Harris. Then there's Griffin, then it's Harden, and it's Irving at the water. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Ball against Harden. Clock at six. Outside for Bledsoe. This one for three. And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Adams. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, and bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Nets. They trail by six. Griffin passes to Harden. Back to Griffin. And then Griffin with the dunk. And wow, his ability to score gets so much attention. Harden demonstrating why he's also regarded as an elite level passer. Here's Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Here's Harden. That shot is off. Ludzo with a defensive effort. Kicks to Ingram. Williamson against Griffin. Williamson, the pass to Ludzo. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now an eight-point Pelican lead. Look, it's nice to be a tough, small guy in this league. If you're built like Eric Bledsoe, the contact, no effect. Now here's Durant. 17 points in the game. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. Ball finds Adam. Now Ingram. Contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And they made Ingram fight for that one, but he's not afraid to get physical. This is a good sign. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Super two. And that one falls for Ingram. Inwood is checked in for James Harden. Both free throws, good for Ingram. Nets trail by eight. Then Witty surveying the floor. Steps back and fires. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I think it's a four or five year shooting. Terrific start. Ingram against Harris. And it's Ingram missing. Brooklyn's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Did Witty finds KD. Shot is good. He's taken 15 and made 10 from the field tonight. And this has been relentless from KD here tonight. The defense has tried to adjust not once but several times and nothing working. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And clearly he's in a lot of pain. They, they call time and the trainer's going to get a chance to go out and check him over.
The Pelicans making a switch here. Hernan Gomez is checked in. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. On it. Bledsoe's got four this quarter. So important for this offense that when you get opportunities like that, a player can knock them down. This time it's Bledsoe. Irving takes to Dinwiddie. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Back to ball. And ball slams it in. You know, we don't see this all that often, but is Lonzo Ball going to start calling his own number tonight? He should. Passes it to Dinwiddie. Here's Griffin. Irving looking for an opening. Nice open look, but it's no good. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Dinwiddie against Bloodsoe. Down to five on the shot clock. Lays it up off the glass. And it's a seven-point Pelican lead. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. It's stolen by Hernan Gomez. That's good from Williamson on the assist from Ingram. 16 points for Zion Williamson. Irving drives in, banked in off the glass. Blinding speed there shown by Kyrie Irving on the boost. And when he puts it on the floor like that, he's getting all the way to the rim. And that one's good, Ingram. Ingram's got four points now in the quarter. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Durant with it, now guarded by Ball. Kicks it out to Dinwiddie. For three, Harris. And the Nets, another three. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Ingram against Harris. Durant with the steal. And here we go. The fast break with Dinwiddie. Irving, good. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Changes for Brooklyn. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Harris. And it's Brown in for Kyrie Irving. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hernan Gomez passes to Hart. Here's Alexander Walker. And again, no good by New Orleans. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for the Nets. Four-point game. Well, KD, an awesome job there just sharing the rock with his teammates. Here's Alexander Walker. To Hayes. Here's Alexander Walker. Then would he cover it? And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. And the Pelicans making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Now here's Durant. 23 points in the game. Dinwiddie, the bounce pass. A nice shot by Jordan. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. Here's Ingram, and slam dunk by Ingram. And that's the way it should be. Ingram aggressive to the rack. 
around with it. He feeds it to Green. Five to shoot. Here's Durant. Kept alive. Brown. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. Brown's got it all tied up now for the Nets. The Pelicans have gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. Great third quarter for them offensively. Here's Johnson. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Dinwiddie, and the layup's good off the glass. Dinwiddie's got 13 points. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Alexander Walker passes to Ingram. Brooklyn with the rebound. Durant's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Dinwiddie, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. Defense has got to be better. Flat out effort was not there. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit chat with the team to settle down. Changes. Joe Harris is checked in for Green, and it's James Harden in for Bruce Brown. He's with it. He's against Jordan, and the Pelicans miss again. I get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. The Nets have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. Free throw good from Harden. And the southpaw stroke of Harden is just beautiful to watch. When he's cooking, he's one of the more lethal scorers in our league. Shots good by Alexander Walker. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. The pass to Durant. Ops it up for Jordan. The alley -oop play up very well done. Oh, just a picture perfect alley oop. You, you gotta love that. Look a little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Now oh, here's Ingram. He's got 19. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Kevin Durant. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Two shooting two. Shoot two. No good on that one. It's the second from the line. Brooklyn leading by six. Here now is Dinwiddie. He's got 15. Out to Harris. The tray. Unable to get that one. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Pass to Alexander Walker. KD against Johnson. Hard hands it in the corner. Pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough physical defense. 
The Nets have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. Taking two shots. And the first one drops. The amount of pressure Durant puts on his opponents, it's typical to see him among the leaders in free throw attempts. Adams, he's checked in for New Orleans. Durant nails both of them. Pelicans trail by eight. Here's Hart. Passes to Alexander Walker. Over to the wing. And Hayes kicks to Hart. Six on the shot clock. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half. Getting away from the three-point shot. Pass to Hart. Fifty-one seconds left in the third. Yeah, good job. Just staying alert there, snatching up that long rebound. It's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut down now to just four in the basket from Hart. Now they're playing working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. Harden, and again, it's the Nets missing. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Hayes dishes to Ingram. Hayes trying to break through. And that one's good, Ingram. Now just a two-point Brooklyn lead. And this is where that length shows off on particular plays like that. Still able to score. And Durant gets it to go. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Brooklyn Nets. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard put the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up. And that cut was wide open. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Setting the four now for the Pelicans. They've got Bloodsoe. Hart is out there with Jackson Hayes. And then there's Steven Adams. And it's Alexander Walker in at the point guard position. And the shot goes in. Well, Adams with that kind of positioning so deep inside, he becomes a force down low. Harden the pass to Griffin. Now here is Harris. And here's Harden for three. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got his sixth rebound on the night. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. And Griffin sends it back. Great to see Griffin going hard on the defensive end. Rejections like that are crucial to his development. Here's Alexander Walker. Defended by Griffin. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Harden has a wide open look. Again, the miss by Harden. If you told me this was the kind of game he was going to have, I would not have expected them to be in front right now. And here's Griffin. He'll bring it up for the Nets. The lead is two. Love to watch KD out in transition. Puts a little flair on the finish. Ludzo passes to Adams. Kicks it to Bledsoe. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And that's about the first defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest 
in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Zion Williamson's checked in for Hayes, and it's Lonzo Ball in for Hart. The free throw drops for Eric Bledsoe. The Nets have gone 104 since the end of the third quarter. Here's the pass to KD. Outside for Griffin. It's rebounded by New Orleans. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. And so finds Williamson. Adams trying to free himself up. And that one's good, Williamson. And the Pelicans lead by one. Brooklyn's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. From D. Harden. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Adams has got eight rebounds in this game. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Here's Butso. Pocket six, and they get it back. Yeah, the large wingspan of Durant on full display. What a block there. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Count it and the foul. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both. But when it gets close, he's getting the ball. The Pelicans making a switch here. Ingram's checked in. The free throw drops for Durant. The Pelicans have gotten just under 45% of their attempt to drop in the fourth four of nine. Williamson, good work defensively by KD. Irving finds Harden. Looking to end his cold spell. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Here's Ingram. Adams trying to free himself up. And that one's good, Ingram. Ingram's got the game tied up here for New Orleans. Now Irving to the middle. Here's Griffin, and then Griffin with the dunk. That's what you come to see there. Blake Griffin sky high on that dunk. The D has to keep him from getting that deep. Pass to Adams. Here's the dish to Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. He went for the two-hander on the slam. You see some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. And that one, good. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Ludzo against Harden. Here's Williamson. Count the basket and the foul. It's on Kevin Durant. Well, Zion did a good job of just carving out some space right there, and he's tough to get around or go over. One shot. Irving. Outside Griffin. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Ball's got rebound number five here tonight. And the dunk by Williamson. And this is where Lonzo Ball gets you excited. As a teammate, he's going to get you the ball. To the paint. On the wing, Harris. The basket good off the assist from Durant. KD's got his eighth assist here tonight. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both of these teams locked in on the offensive end. It's going to be a high-scoring affair tonight. Offensive rebound. Ball. And it's sent back by KD. Irving kicks to KD. 
KD draws the double. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. And so it's Williamson who brings up the ball for New Orleans. Bledsoe passes to Ingram. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Ingram's got 30 points. And he's coming up big here in the clutch. Pass to Harden. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got seven rebounds in the game. Nice D from Griffin. Brooklyn trailing. Shot from free throw range. A nice shot by Katie. Durant's got nine points in the quarter. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. And that one drops for him. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Irving passes to Durant. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That is his first foul of the game. New Orleans has gone 5 of 9 when they put up the three point shot tonight. And it's Ball penetrating, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Now it's a four point New Orleans lead. It was so hard to knock Lonzo Ball off his center of gravity. That time, a good job of keeping his composure around the challenge. Nailed from three point land. Trying more and more to utilize the three pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game, one in each half. Ingram dishes to Williamson. Such an important part of Zion's improvement is setting good screens and then being available as a roller. Time out called the Nets. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. present our New Balance player of the game, Anzo Ball. Yeah, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Brooklyn's head coach said to the team. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that. But it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? I like how Durant uses his wily frame there to get off those shots. Not an easy shot, but for him, man, it looks easy. That free throw good from Durant. New Orleans has gone 5 of 9 when they put up a three point shot tonight. Here's Ball. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. Yeah, and how about Ball just working his way right through the contact that time? Martin finds Griffin. Irving attacking. Pass to Durant. KD draws the double. And the slam by Blake Griffin. And in terms of size, not your typical center. But, man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Bloodsoe outside. And there's the pass to Williamson. Kick out to Adams. Pocket four. Griffin on the double team. Ball, the pass to Adams. And Adams with the slam. How about Steven Adams coming through? Give him a chance. To the inside. Harden and the jam by Harden. 
And this is what great players do. Harden understanding how to deliver in a big moment. Mr. Williamson, back the ball. And Ball slams it in. Lonzo Ball, give me pressure. I'll show you what I can do. Harden the pass to Durant. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Durant's got 42 in the game. And such a plus shooter. I mean, he lives with a big shot. And he's rolling like this. Watch out. Well, Ingram's going to come through when it's crucial. He did so there. Irving passes to Durant. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Happy to put the team on his back, especially in the biggest of moments. Durant nails a huge shot. Free throw drops for Durant. And really, the tension could not be higher right now. And he looked like he was shooting free throws at practice. What a cool customer. Ingram gets the ball. And Irvin comes to help. Ball misses the blood zone. From deep three-point range, Blake Griffin pulls it in. Griffin's got rebound number seven for him tonight. KD finds Harris. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Brooklyn, Joe Harris at the line for two. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a four-point ball game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. with it. Guarded now by Irving. And Ball slams it in. And Lonzo fearless right there answering the call. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for the Nets. Over Williamson. No good from Durant. New Orleans has gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. And out of bounds is Brooklyn gains possession. Yeah, unfortunately, just poor execution there. You cannot give the ball away at this point in the game. 52 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. Well, the great ones can do this. When Durant gains an advantage inside, you know he's going to score or he's going to get fouled. It's the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Point ball game. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're down by four. There's 42 seconds left in the game.
comes to help. Come on. That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. No an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Timeout called the Nets. So against Harden, but he gets it back. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. Clock. Shot clock at five. Got it! Despite a laid-back nature, Durant demands the ball in crunch time. This is why. Timeout call here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're behind by two. Six seconds left to play here in the fourth. Good. This is why you love Brandon Ingram. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. now complete we will go to overtime live from brooklyn new york you're watching 2k sports A battle tooth and nail for four quarters, and now we head to overtime. Should be a blast. It'll be the Nets off the tip, and no shortage of excitement here. And we're officially underway in overtime in this game, courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. Setting the floor for the Nets. Harris is out there with Durant. Then it's Kyrie Irving, then it's Harden, and it's Griffin in at the five. His performance today has just been so important. What a luxury to have a guy that's that dependent. Down low. 
Fader on the way. And Harris wide open. He shoots. And the Nets another three. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. Passes it to Williamson. And there's the call on Durant. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. against Ball. Adams outside. Just four to shoot. Off target from three-point range. Here's Irving. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. And now a five-point Nets lead. So, so clever. He finds different ways to probe inside, and Kyrie with a great finish. And slam dunk by Ingram making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Harden outside. Traps in the tray. Harden's got five points now this quarter. And Kyrie doing a good job of just setting everybody up, making sure there's a great pace and tempo to each possession offensively. That's the blood zone. Loads it up for Williamson. Stolen by Harden. And now the fast break. Griffin with the ball. Here's Durant. Connects again. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. And he is at his best. And it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. And there's the foul. That's on Steven Adams. That'll be his second foul of the game. Eric Bledsoe. Three. Brooklyn leading by five. Irving passes to Griffin. Irving kicks to Harris. Here's the floater. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. He seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. You see that pay off. in on the second chance points. Well, Steven Adams always working the offensive glass, strong and aggressive in there, and gets that second chance hoop. Irving double team. Griffin, no one around him. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Griffin's got the lead up to eight now for the Nets. Ingram against Harris. And it's Ingram missing. Brooklyn's gone two for three from beyond the arc to begin overtime. Harden surveying the D. Inside. Griffin can't get it to go in. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for New Orleans. That one goes. Count it. Williamson's got 29 in the game. Wow, you want to lead a franchise? This is how you do it. Zion coming through. Count it. KD's got the lead. Back up to eight now for Brooklyn. That's the guy they're going to keep going to, as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep beating. Ball with the bucket. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Irving with the bounce pass. Here's Durant. Cyan Williamson grabs the miss. And here's New Orleans now. He kicks it to Ingram. To the inside. Adam. It counts. And now they trail by just four. You wonder at times if the offense should explore Steven Adams a little bit more. He collects two. Outside Durant. Tiny Williamson grabs the miss. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're trailing by four. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the first overtime. 
guys, what do you think? They're trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. It's funny, at this point in the game, the coach is asking the team to be perfect. They haven't been to this point. Here's Ingram. Money! That Ingram and that body and that maturation showing off in plays just like that. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. They're up by two. Seven seconds left in overtime. That's an intentional foul. Shooting for Brooklyn. Brian Irving. Taking two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. Like Kyrie is just never afraid of the challenge in front of him. The tougher the situation, seems like the tougher he played. And yeah, that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. I'm out called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. Five seconds left in the first overtime. Action has been terrific. What do you think, guys? And I'm sure the coach is telling them it ain't over till it's over. Yeah, but but I don't know. the three-point line it's Ingram that one off the back iron and out and so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win a pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series you know Kevin momentum so so critical and, and you know they'll want to ride this way into game two and now we'll send it over to David Aldridge who is standing by courtside David thanks very much Kyrie nice win tonight what was your thought process coming into the game? Uh, you know, I was just going out there trying to compete on every play, uh, trying to play as much defense as possible. Uh, you know, just sticking to our game plan. We had a game plan going in and we executed. Got it done at both ends of the floor, Kyrie. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alton. This is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.